Hi, I'm Kendra. And I'm Elise. And we are two of the six sisters. So today we're making one of our favorite recipes. It's citrus glazed ham, and it makes the perfect Easter dinner. We grew up with a grandma who loved to cook, and we loved going over for Easter dinner because her whole house, when you walked smelled in, smelled so good. Smelled like ham. And so this is one of our favorite recipes. It's super easy to make with a few simple ingredients you probably already have in your pantry. So let's get started. Okay. To start, we're going to first do a, one cup of orange marmalade. We're just going to kind of guesstimate. This is definitely the citrus part of the yeah. recipe. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do one teaspoon of ground mustard. And you could use whatever brands you want. We're using Western Family today that we got at Macy's, but whatever you have on hand works. We just think these work really well together, so. Okay, now we will do one fourth teaspoon of this garlic powder. And if your kids don't like garlic flavor, you could always cut down on this or leave it out completely. It'll still be good with everything else. And one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And then we'll just mix it all together. So it really only has five ingredients besides the ham, so it's so easy, and but it tastes so good. It it smells does. so good. It does cooking, smell so. so good. So once this is all mixed, I'm just gonna glaze the ham with half of this at first. You can buy like a spiralized sliced ham if you want to get the glaze down into, in between each of the slices down into the center of the ham. But any pre-cooked ham will do. And that's what also makes it so much easier is that your ham's already cooked technically. So now you're just gonna be glazing the outside of it and giving it a really nice crispy crust, I guess you could say. And I have three kids, and they are helpers, you could say, and their favorite part <laughs> is using the basting brush because they think they're painting. So if you have kids <laughs> at home and you need to have their help in the kitchen or you're lucky enough to have it, this is a job that they could do. Okay, so once you've used about half of your glaze, the oven is preheated to 325, and you're gonna put it in for an hour. And we're gonna make a little foil tent to kind of just help it cook and keep the juices <laughs> in. Right? So I just will use like two pieces of foil and just kind of roll it together at the top. So after your foil tent is over your ham, I'm gonna put it in the oven at 325 for an hour, but I'll come back every 15, and 20 minute, 15 to 20 minutes and baste it with the extra glaze and after it's cooked for an hour, you'll take the foil off and cook it for 45 more minutes with the rest of the glaze on it. So let's put it in. Let's get cooking. <laughs> okay, so we cooked our ham for an hour and then we took the foil tent off and cooked it for 45 more minutes and we just took it out. And you can see it has a nice crispy glaze, a nice crust on it. And there's also drippings in the pan and so one thing that our family does is make ham gravy out of it. So whether you want to use the drippings as just a glaze over your ham, or you can add equal parts cornstarch and water to it, a, probably a tablespoon of each and whisk it together, you can actually make a really good ham gravy. And That's it smells amazing. Our too. grandma's secret. And yeah. she serves over mashed potatoes and it's the perfect side dish to go with your delicious citrus glazed ham. This video is brought to you by Macy's Home of Happy Shopping.